anything short of a Super Bowl is a failure for the Lions. That's what people are saying. So, Craig, you think anything short of the Super Bowl is a failure for them? In their minds, yeah, they're right. Like, when you get as close as they got last year and you bring everybody back, including your coaching staff, as we've talked about a lot, there are expectations. Danny has said this throughout the week, and he's right that going into this year, there were three teams, maybe four, that had Super Bowl or bus expectations. Kansas City, San Francisco, Detroit, and shockingly enough, the New York Jets because of what we thought Aaron Rodgers was going to be. So for them, man, great year. Yep, check that box. Good. Doesn't mean anything. Home field advantage. Let's assume they check that box. Great. Doesn't mean anything. Win the first playoff game at home against whatever wild card team advances. Doesn't mean anything. Now you're going to have an NFC Championship game in your building. If you lose that yeah. game, this season was a waste. It was a total failure for them. The question, though, if you win that game yes. and then you lose the Super Bowl. I think, I think it's a different, a different reaction. Okay, right. So you yeah. read the question as Super Bowl appearance, I, not, not Super Bowl win. Yes, I read it as the Detroit Lions have to get to the Super Bowl. Right, which they've never for done. For season to be a success. All right, then you and I are on the same page. Yeah. Because they've never made it in their franchise's history. Right. And so making it. Having that two-week celebration of your organization, of your city, yep. going to New Orleans, and all that would be massive. You lose in an NFC Championship game at home to Philly, where you're favored in that game, it's going to be very tough for Lions fans to say, well, we just did that last year. Right. We just lost to San Francisco sure. in the NFC Championship game the year before. But do they need to hoist a Lombardi trophy? I don't think so. Like If they lose to Mahomes, or they lose to Josh Allen, or they lose to Lamar and Derrick Henry... Yeah. In the Super Bowl, I don't think we're going to say on the Monday after that the whole season was a failure. No, I don't. I don't. No, think I, say I that. don't. I don't think so. But I think within that organization, they knowing will. that organization, knowing Dan Campbell, knowing the guys that play within that organization, Brad Holmes, their general manager, if they don't win the Super Bowl yeah. with this juggernaut that they have, the success that they've had. The offensive line that they put together, the running backs that they put together, the offensive weapons they put together, and oh, by the way, a defense that is playing out of its mind right now, yeah. they'll tell you that's that would be a, a, a colossal disappointment. Look, the reason Aaron Glenn and Ben Johnson came back was unfinished business, and obviously they're being paid very well. Uh, but both those guys at some point are going to be head coaches, maybe even this go-around, regardless of what they do in the playoffs, right? So I would just say to Detroit, like, that doesn't completely change the dynamic overnight. Philadelphia has lost four coordinators, and they're on a collision course for the NFC Championship game through two years after their Super Bowl appearance. But it does change things, right? Different voice in the room, different voice in the locker room, different way to approach an offense or a defense. So I think we're all saying the same thing. They have to get to the Super Bowl. If they don't win it, we won't view them as a failed season, right. but you bet your so, ass they will. You know, we, we always joke around or talk about playing on house money. Yes. And this doesn't feel like it house money not. to me. Because, no. like, listen, you know, not to, to pat myself on the back, but being part of three world championship teams. Yeah. It had been a while them, since you mentioned that. Yeah, yeah two ahead. of them, two of them, we were huge favorites. The Denver ones. The de well, right? two, Washington. well, Washington against Buffalo and Denver against Atlanta. Huge favorites. You Denver know what I felt after those games? Good. What I felt was well. relief. Really? Okay. Relief. Because of the pressure. Because of the pressure, because you were the best team all season long, because you were supposed to. This is where Detroit is right now. What I felt after a wild card win over the Green Bay Packers in Super Bowl 32 was euphoric joy. Completely different approach in all those games because there was like nobody expected us to win that game. So to win that game was there was euphoria after that. Yeah. The other ones, I was just like, thank God that's over and we took care of business. So it's a different perspective from Detroit where they play right now because there is an expectation. Yeah, I can there. see that for your win over Atlanta, you were clearly the better football team. Sure. And if you had not won that game, that would have been a disaster. Hey there, thank you so much for watching Breakfast Ball. You know, you can subscribe right here to get all the latest bits and segments from our show. And hey, while you're at it, make sure to check out all the amazing content from all the other shows also right here on FS1.